Hello everyone, I'm Howard Leo, Community Manager here at Snowflake. It is the final day of Snowflake Summit. But of course we saved, uh, last but not least, uh, an appearance from our data superhero, Mash Syed. Mash, welcome man, how are you feeling? Feeling good, it's great to be here. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, a little tired, but a lot of uh, amazing announcements, a lot of activities happening, sessions right behind us, uh, booths uh, to our left. What? I mean, what, what has been your favorite part of Snowflake Summit attending these uh, last three days? Yeah, I think, um, you know, when I, when, I, when I think about being here in person and I see all this entire ecosystem in, in real life, yeah. it's so interesting because you're so used to seeing this ecosystem virtually, right? These different uh, partners and all these different companies that are, are, are built on Snowflake and, and have, you know, partnerships with, with Snowflake. You know, you're just used to seeing their brand online, but then you're here in person. And it's like, wow, here's the actual, you know, companies that that you can engage with and interact with. So it's really, it's really cool to see this ecosystem come together in real life. Yeah, well, real life is always better than a screen. So was there any uh, a particular keynote session or a particular you know panel that you enjoyed? You were on your own panel, uh, speaking uh, speaking with other data superheroes. But what was what was your favorite? What stuck out to you? You know, what uh, What stood out to me was uh, the session that I attended today, the Startup Challenge, yeah. which was kind of um, that mirrored Shark Tank uh, <laughs> with, with uh, your CMO mm -hmm. <coughs> and um, head of product. Uh, so amazing to see these guys in person and then uh, see the stories of these different startups themselves and kind of what they are accomplishing, their focus, the markets they're going after. I thought that that was really, really inspiring, you know, to see that. And of course, you know, Snowflake's investing in them, uh, I think half a million or a million dollars or something like that. That to me was extremely interesting to just be in the audience and, and to see what these companies are doing. So a little bit of uh, the entrepreneur's spirit and leadership there. So that's, that's, that, uh, that's what stuck out to you. That's really awesome. Uh, so then let's, th let's talk about that. You know, where based on what you're seeing you know, as a data scientist and kind of maybe some inspi inspired by that uh, startup challenge, where are you seeing the trends and what do you think will be happening in the, in the world of data in the next five years? And what would an entrepreneur need to consider uh, going forward and what's, what should be the market that they address? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's a great question. I think you know, what I see and what I think about and what you know, seems to be coming together is like, you know, you think about cloud overall mm -hmm. and accessibility to data. Uh, for example, Snowflake's got the data marketplace, which is very powerful because you have, as a vendor, you have the opportunity to put your data out there so that data scientists can leverage it. Data scientists have the opportunity to merge internal data with external data. Super powerful. I have firsthand experience doing that as a data scientist paid huge dividends. Um, so going through that experience of utilizing the marketplace for my use case, what that got me thinking about was, well, what else is out there? And especially, uh, is there are there data sets out there that allow me to expand on my passion? Like I'm a car guy. And as you know, we've had these conversations before. The uh, Porsche 911, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Yes. <laughs> so the, the thought process is like, okay, here's my passion. Here's a bunch of data. Here's what I can do with it. And I think, at least myself, thinking about how to bring all of this together. Um, and then the cloud overall, like, I, I you know, I, of course, I, I work for, for Microsoft as a cloud solution architect. And Microsoft has all these services as well. So bringing all of this together to do something as a entrepreneur or you know solopreneur is what's exciting to me. And I still and I really do believe that that's where we're headed, and that you know the next five years, as you asked in your question, is going to be a whole bunch of people trying things out that may have not tried things out in the past, but it's like it's right there in your face now. All these things are right there in your face. Yeah. And a lot of us are working from home. So you take the commute out of the picture and you have to ask yourself, well, what do you want to do? You have extra time on your hands. What do you want to do with it? 
was that extra side project that you're working on? Yes. What do you, where do you want to take your data and get involved? And the marketplace, not just data, right? We're selling functions, UDFs, everything. It's all of it's on the table. So I, I hope that excites you. I hope that excites other uh, data scientists and data collaborators. I guess, you know, Mash, maybe for the audience, you know, what what is your advice? Maybe you know a little bit of brief of your journey being a data scientist. You know, what would you recommend? Uh, kind of tips and tricks to getting to where you are as a data superhero? <clears throat> yeah, I think, um, you know, number one, you have to have passion. You have to be passionate about, you know, whatever you're doing. So whether you're a data scientist or a data engineer, that passion has to come through. And I think if you have that passion and you have that and you have curiosity mm -hmm. to, you know, understand something new, read about the, the documentation on how to do stuff, and then share that with others, um, then you're on your way to being a data superhero. Absolutely. You gotta have passion, you gotta wanna share stuff, and you have to be curious. So those are the three components, I believe. Um, yeah, and I think, you know, of course, data science is super hot right now. Uh, data science is, is still, it's, a, it's very hard to, to really provide value, right, back to either your, your stakeholders, whether it's the company you work for, or if you're trying to do something on your own. And I think a lot of this is trial and error. So you gotta be okay with failing. Um, fail fast. <laughs> that's my advice, yeah. I feel like that's a motto we hear a lot, but it's really hard to follow through. So I, re I really appreciate that advice, Mash. Um, I guess, uh, you know, any plugs or anything you would like to you know talk about that you're working on that you know, in the community, you know, where can people find you? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I spend most of my time online socially uh, on LinkedIn, so that's probably the place to find me. Um, in terms of what I'm working on, like, I, I, as I mentioned, I'm really interested in trying to, to utilize some of these data sets that are available in the marketplace. There are some data sets that I have in mind um, related to car data, of course. Okay. All right. And, um, you know, my, my hope is that I, I can bring something together and build something cool. And I'm excited about that. And I think being here is really inspiring because, you know, you see all these other folks and all these companies doing cool things. It makes you start to wonder, well, you know, how can I build something? So it's been, it's been inspiring to be here. Well, I'm glad, you know, that's the point of uh, having Snowflake Summit here in Las Vegas. So uh, quick shameless plug, we got to talk about community.snowflake.com. Please check it out, check out the forums, check out the, our Data Superheroes page, and you'll find MASH and the other Data Superheroes and how to contact them. So thanks a lot, MASH. And with that, we'll sign out. <laughs>